We'll enable cruise control here and you can already see it's telling me I'm going to be stopping for traffic control in 300 metres. So I'm coming, this is just normal give way at the moment and we'll see where it actually stops us because it's quiet road. But there we go, we've just stopped at a give way. Tesla released a software update only a few days ago in the form of 2020.36.3, which added the new feature of recognising speed limit signs. Now, usually that would be it, and any further updates with numbers after the 3.6 would be small little bug fixes. So imagine my surprise when 2020.36.10 landed on my Model 3 yesterday to discover they've added a major new feature. My Tesla Model 3 will now respond to traffic lights and stop signs in the UK and Europe. Not to mention they've already improved the speed limit recognition software. So let's find out how good it really is. So I'll let you pause the screen if you want to read the notes in full, but effectively what they've done, they've made the Model 3 now respond to traffic lights and stop signs in the UK if you're using auto steer or cruise control. Now just on a side note, I've noticed Tesla recently have started to use the term auto steer a lot more frequently than autopilot. And with the rewrite of the autopilot software imminent, I'm just wondering whether they're thinking of maybe differentiating the two and maybe charging you for autopilot and auto steer is going to come as standard. Just a thought, let me know what you think. The other features that are adding is the fact that your Model 3 may warn you if you're about to run a stop sign or a stoplight. And I think the key word here is that it may, so I definitely wouldn't rely on that. And you have to be on auto steer in the first place, which the car should be stopping anyway. You also get the option of having a chime go off when you're sat at a green light and it's clear to proceed, which might be nicer than the car behind pipping its horn. Rather than sit here and talk through all the capabilities, I'm just gonna get out there and show you them. And also I noticed yesterday driving around the tweaks they've made to the speed limit recognition software. One of the key bits that were missing the other day was the fact it didn't recognize national speed limit signs. Well, I'm pleased to say they've rectified that in record time and we now get a render of the national speed limit signs. So I'll show you those tweaks as well. To enable the features, you just go into the settings, autopilot, and you've got the features to enable it there but you do have to be in park when you activate it. So it's important to stress this software update is still in the beta testing stage, which means you have to pay attention at all times when you're driving and shouldn't rely upon it to stop you at traffic lights and stop signs. As far as I'm aware, this feature is available for anyone that has a Tesla Model 3, whether you have full self-driving or whether you have the standard autopilot that comes with all Model 3s, because it specifically references cruise control and auto steer, which is standard. Now the thing that I first noticed, as you can see at these traffic lights here, is there's slightly different renders for the traffic lights. They've got this little bit of a glow about them now, whereas before they actually look quite flat. So we're just going to come out onto the dual carriageway and I'll enable autopilot so that we can start to get to see the software in action. And how it works is effectively if you've got neither cruise control or autopilot enabled, then all you'll get is a gray line across to indicate that there is a potential area to stop. So you'll see we've got some traffic lights coming up here. Um, I've not enabled autopilot or cruise control, so we're just gonna get a gray line on the visualization as we approach it. There you go. So what I'll do now, I'll engage autopilot and we've got some more traffic lights coming up. Now what surprised me is how quick they recognize. So you can see we've already got the warning and it's visualizing what color the lights are. So to proceed through this, I just have to tap the accelerator and I don't know whether you picked up on that, but the line changed from red to green. So the line will always appear red until you interact with the car at all. At the moment, the car will always stop whether the light is green or red as we approach traffic lights. In the future, you'll be able to enable an option that allows the car to proceed through a green light without any interaction from the driver, but it will always stop at a red light. So we've got some more lights coming up. They're green as well. It's already identified it's green. I'm gonna tap on the accelerator just so we proceed through the lights. So you'll see the line is red. I need to tap on the accelerator now and it changes to green. Otherwise, the car would have brought us to a stop even though those lights are green. And we've got multiple sets, so we now authorize that one. Press on the accelerator. And then we've got more lights coming up. So this time I'll just tap down on the gear lever and that pushes us through the lights as well. So what I'm gonna do, whilst I've got no cars behind me, I'm gonna challenge it a little bit because I'm gonna be bearing left here at this roundabout, which isn't actually traffic light controlled but it does fool lots of humans because the traffic lights are straight ahead and they think that they actually relate to the lane that we're in. So the lane I'm in at the moment is left turn only. There's no cars behind me, so that's fine. And we'll see if the Tesla Model 3 reacts to the traffic lights that are in front of it or whether it'll actually proceed through. 
So we're turning left here. It thinks there's some traffic lights, although they're green. And yeah, I've had to authorize that to go through there. Shame. But then again, as I said, it does fool lots of human drivers as well. So we'll let the Model 3 off on that occasion. I'm hoping the lights actually turn to red so we can see how good the Model 3 is at stopping us at the lights. So I'm not gonna engage to go through here because I'm anticipating that they'll actually turn red. Oh, they have now. So here we go, bringing the car to a stop. And we've stopped way before the line. So the blue car on our left is actually at the line, as you can see. The Model 3 has rendered the line in the wrong place and stops us at it. So here we go, we're coming to a roundabout with multiple sets of traffic lights on it. And I'll just do it in cruise control because I don't think autopilot is capable of navigating this roundabout specifically. So that's brought us to a nice stop. It looks like it's rendering the line in the wrong place as well because that golf up ahead, well, it's not rendering it at all now, but it's rendering the golf past the line, which it's not. So we'll authorise it to go through this set. And then we've got another set around the corner. I mean, this is going to be a real challenge for it because there's another set. It's identified, so we'll authorise that. That's not bad. It's very ropey. That bib of the horn wasn't at me, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. not very smooth to go around this roundabout very hit and miss Ugh, I'm disabling it so what I'll do I'm just coming down to where I know there's some temporary traffic lights as well so we'll just double check that it responds and behaves as you'd expect it to with those lights now it probably won't know from GPS that they're there but hopefully as soon as it recognizes them it will start to give us the notification that there's some traffic lights coming up so it has spotted them I mean that's not very easy to spot but it's told us already that they're on the they're on the way, which is very impressive. So they've just changed, so I'll enable us to go through from the gear lever. And when the car pulls away, hopefully we will too. Autopilot still pulls away a little bit jerky. I wish they'd smooth that out. But that's not too bad where they've rendered that line. That wouldn't be too far wrong, I think. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give the Tesla Model 3 a chance to play with stacked lights where you've got red, amber, green for straight on, and then green left for a filter light. But in the past, it's never really differentiated between the different lights, so it'll be interesting to see how it responds to this. My money on is that it won't. Okay, so that's good. We've got no traffic behind us. I'll enable cruise control. We're in the left-hand lane only. The lights are on red at the moment, but these lights will normally change green for left filter, but stay red for everyone else. So here we go, we've got the green left filter light. I'm enabling it on the gear stick, so I've enabled that now, so we should advance when the car in front enables. It's a bit hesitant going through, but actually it allowed us to go through, so that wasn't too bad. So we'll just see what it's like responding to these red lights here, and see whether this can render us and stop us in the right place. Beans, there's no traffic behind me again. Oh, that was bad. Just by tapping the accelerator then, I enabled it to go through a red light, which it shouldn't do. So, still very much in the beta testing stage, I'd say. And you still will definitely have to pay attention to what is going on. So a feature Tesla haven't identified in this update is actually if you're on cruise control, your car is gonna stop you if you come to a junction automatically. Now, it said in the release notes it will stop you if you were coming into a stop sign, but not junction. So you watch, we'll enable cruise control here, and you can already see it's telling me I'm gonna be stopping for traffic control in 300 meters. So I'm coming, this is just normal give way at the moment, and we'll see where it actually stops us, because it's quite a road. But there we go. We've just stopped at a give way. And then if I enable it, we'll go through. How cool is that? So, enable cruise control. Don't think it's actually a 40 here, it's a 30. There's no traffic behind us, so we'll come up to this section here and we'll get a notification we're coming up to a junction soon. And then it should guide us to a stop. Here we go, stopping for traffic control. And we've got the giveaway coming up. Now, 
that does tie in with one of my videos earlier that said it was starting to recognise giveaway signs. And I've noticed in the past it used to recognise the blank giveaway signs, the warning a giveaway was coming up. And today driving around I've noticed that the warning signs that there's no actual line coming on the map if it's a blank warning sign coming up. So they've improved that and it looks like they're differentiating between giveaway signs and warning signs. So let's enable cruise control. Yep, stopping at traffic junction just ahead. I mean, it does come very slowly up to the junctions. I'm not sure you'd want to use this on a daily basis because it's a bit like a learner driver approaching the junction, but we're happy it's clear, so we'll enable it. And now I'm not quite sure why we've stopped. This is like a learner driver, isn't it? I should put L plates on it. Tesla learning plates. It still doesn't identify speed bumps, so we're probably going to be hitting these pretty quick. I'll just slow me down. And then we've got a roundabout coming up here, so we'll see what happens at the roundabout. Does it identify the roundabout? Because there's no giveaway sign here. It is clear to proceed through. Yeah, so a mini roundabout, it's not going to do anything with it. So, although the car's stopping now at junctions, I think they have tweaked the software significantly because it used to be the case that as you approach roundabouts, you'd get the almost the giveaway line drawn on the roundabout. Whereas what I've noticed now, I'm approaching roundabouts and there's no junction indicated, so the car on cruise control is just going to drive straight through it, which does make sense because that's what roundabouts are for, they're to keep the traffic flowing. But in the past, it used to automatically draw a line on the map to indicate that's a point where you potentially have to give away from traffic coming from the right-hand side. So that's it for how the Tesla Model 3 responds to traffic lights and stop signs in the UK and Europe. Now I did promise you an update on how it responds to speed limit signs as well. And I'm pleased to say that only in a matter of days Tesla have updated it to render and respond to the national speed limit sign. Although I'm not 100% convinced it's responding to the sign and still not using GPS data because it seems a little bit slow to update and sometimes seems like it's responding to its previous GPS rather than what it's seeing on the screen. So we've got one coming up here in front of us. So we'll drive through that and you can just see how quickly it changes on the screen from the 30 up to the national speed limit sign. So you'll see the render on the display, which is pretty cool that they're rendering that. And you'll see we pass it, but it's a little bit slow and then it changes to the 60. And this is what I'm thinking. It's still using GPS data. So here we go. We're gonna come into a 30 and we'll see how quickly it changes to that and then we literally turn left out into a national speed limit. So we've got the 30 sign is rendered, it changes as we go through that and then we'll go left and it's a national speed limit sign and again you'll see that rendered on the screen and let's see how quick it changes. You see it's just that little bit slower which makes me think it's using the GPS rather than the actual thing it's seeing on the screen. As I have been driving around as well, I've noticed it seems to be picking up the speed limit signs that are on the yellow background. Now it might have been just glitching the other day and it might have just been the situations I was driving through, so it might have been doing that the other day, but I just didn't notice it so much, whereas now it seems to be picking them up, except on motorways. So this didn't work the other day either. We're actually in a 60 zone because of roadworks and there's clear signs as you can see over on the left there, but the car's choosing not to render them at all. And one of the viewers did point out that actually in the software update notes, it does say it will apply speed limit sign recognition to local roads. Well, clearly a motorway is in a local road, so this might be why it's not choosing to recognize and render traffic signs on this road. But as you enter the slip road, it did actually recognize them. So I was surprised that it recognized and rendered the 60, but then chose to ignore it and choose the GPS data. So again, we've got one over here on the left, but it doesn't seem to want to recognize it. And normally, if we were on other roads, it would have recognized that. Even though it's a little bit out of the way, it would have rendered it and showed it on the sign. So it might just be for whatever reason, Tesla are choosing not to enable it on large motorway networks, which is a shame because that's where you mostly get the change of the speed limits because of roadworks. But if you want to see that video on speed limit recognition signs in full, then there's a link to it just popped up above there. And so that's it for these two updates. And although it's designed to make you interact with your car less, I found I was interacting a lot more. So for that reason, shock news, I'm turning off my Tesla Model 3 response to traffic lights and stop signs. And that's because we get a lot of pedestrian crossings with traffic lights in the UK, and normally it would just sail through because there's no one at them, so it would be a green light. But I'm having to authorize it to drive through each and every one. 
And also there was a few events at Zebra Crossings that it interpreted it as a traffic light and then suddenly banged on the brakes at the last minute when I wasn't expecting it. So I think until it irons out those creases, I'd rather just disengage autopilot when I come up to official traffic lights, if they're on red. Otherwise, they're just going to sail through on green anyway. I try and film these videos on software updates as soon as my Tesla Model 3 has downloaded them. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, hit subscribe right away now and you'll be notified when I release a video. I've also got very early on a Sunday morning to film this for you, so a thumbs up to say thank you would not go amiss. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.